Which country will win the Four Nations Face-Off Final? Canada or the USA? That's the main topic of this video. I'm Professor MJ, a former 15-year university statistics teacher turned into a full-time sports better and advisor. Welcome to the best sports betting show on YouTube, my friend. I am not going to make you wait any longer. My official betting pick in this game is to bet Canada to win this game straight up. At the time I recorded this video, the best available odds, as you can see on your screen, were plus 100 in American format, which equals to 2.0 in decimal odds. In other words, Canada is viewed as a slight underdog. We are all going to get what we wanted, a rematch of the super intense 3-1 victory by the Americans in the preliminary phase. When this game took place, my family and I were watching the game in a hotel lobby with my youngest son's hockey team. They were playing a tournament out of town. We certainly did not expect our young 9 and 10 year old boys to watch 3 fights within the first 9 seconds of the game. The whole game was fantastic to watch. I could not believe how fast the game was. Players had split seconds to make their decisions. The intensity level felt like a Game 7 in the Stanley Cup Finals. I expect more of the same on Thursday night at the TD Garden in Boston. Let's say a few words about injuries. On Canada's side, defenseman Shea Theodore got hurt following a crushing hit by Adrian Kempe from Sweden in the opener. He has been ruled out of the tournament. Meanwhile, the best point scorer among all NHL defensemen this season, Kale McCarr, missed the pivotal matchup against the US. However, he suited up for the game against Finland, so he will be ready to roll. Things are not as clear on the American side. They have four guys who got banged up. And based on what I am reading, it feels like only one of them will not be on the ice for the final. Indeed, I believe Charlie McAvoy won't be available for the final, while Austin Matthews and the Kachuk brothers should be fine. However, these three guys may not be at full strength, so that's one of the reasons why I am siding with Canada here. I know the US team will basically play at home in front of a fired up crowd. But to me, Canada has the better team and their stars have plenty of experience. They won't panic just because they are playing in a hostile environment. Don't get me wrong, the Americans have a solid team, but they don't have as many superstars like Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon and Sidney Crosby. And, like I said earlier, Canada did not have its best defenseman, Kel Makar, in the prior meeting. You also hear me talking about the famous revenge factor on multiple occasions when I make my daily hockey picks. It applies here as well, with Canada wanting to avenge a recent loss. That being said, I am not betting my house on Canada, though. I can't say I'm overly confident about this play. My biggest concern is between the pipes, as Jordan Bennington has been relatively shaky at times. However, he has good pass memories from the TD Garden, an arena where he clinched the 2019 Stanley Cup Finals for the St. Louis Blues. From a psychological standpoint, that could help him gain some confidence heading into this key matchup. So, ultimately, I expect another hard-fought game, except that this time Canada will get the W. That's my official pick for the final of the Four Nations Face-Off. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, where we have more than 34,000 subscribers right now. I'm Professor MJ, and I'm always happy to provide smart betting picks for you. Cheers, everyone!